Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Animate CC tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you all the things you need to know for basic text. Please note this is a beginner's tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to add in text, how to align it, center it, how to make it appear and then disappear, and time it, and all that kind of little fancy stuff, as this is a very, very popular thing inside animations, as you are probably well aware. Talk, I'll show you what I'm basically talking about. Here we go. I've got uh, I've got the one of the templates open of the beaker here under a fire, and then for the first ten frames there's no text. On the tenth frame, it says hello, and then after ten more frames it disappears. If you're on Instagram or TikTok or social media and you see all those dog videos with the with the uh, text popping in and popping out, this is how you do it. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer and let's start from scratch. Okay, so we've got this basic animation like I showed you. The first step is you want to left click on the new layer. When you do that, you're going to get a layer like layer 1 or layer 5. Double click on it and just change the name to something like text. Right? Okay, perfect. Now, the next step, and these are some of the important steps, is we got to figure out where do we want the text. If you want the text to begin at the first frame, make sure the playhead's at the beginning here, and then you can add in text on the first frame. I actually want it to show up around frame 10, so I've moved the playhead to frame 10, and you can see that I'm on F10, which means frame 10. And now I'm going to go to the timeline, and I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. So I'm going to left click on this, and you're going to see here that a blank keyframe has been created. Now, what I'm going to do next is now that the keyframe is there, I'm going to left click on the text tool. And then I'm just going to left click one time on the pasteboard. And I'm not going to drag it. I'm just going to left click it so that it, it, uh, it becomes point text. And it just goes as long as the word or symbol or whatever it is I write here. So I'm just going to left click once. And then you're going to see here I've got a pointer. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to go, hello, kitty. Sure, something stupid like that, okay? And then I click out, I've clicked on the selection tool, and I'm gonna move it somewhere I can see it better. And of course, it's a bit, bit too much, so I'm gonna move it up to the top here. All right, cool. Good enough, something like that. Okay, boom, we've got Hello Kitty, and now it, there's nothing at the beginning, and it pops in at the 10th frame. Now for this demonstration, I want it to stop being at the 20th frame. So at this part in the in this part in the animation, I want it to disappear. I want it to pop in, be there for a few frames, and then disappear. The way to do that is at the 20th frame, or wherever you are working along with me, or whatever frame you're on, you have to insert blank keyframe again. Left click on that. And presto, I did it wrong. I'm going to hit Command or Control Z to undo that. And you're going to notice here that I was on the background, and I should have been on the text. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take all of the layers beneath the background, or beneath the text, pardon me, and I'm going to lock them so I can't make that mistake again. Let's try again. Now I'm on the text layer, and I'm going to go to the 20th frame like I am here, and I'm going to left click on Insert Blank Keyframe. When I do that, now let's go ahead and click out and scrub through. You're going to see here there's nothing. Presto, it pops in on the 10th frame like we said. And then on the 20th frame, it disappears, and it's empty till the end. Now, while I have you, I'm going to show you a few other useful techniques and tools uh, while I got you. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make sure I'm left-click on the text, uh, the text layer. <laughs> Come on, Curtis. I'm now going to switch over to my text tool. When I do that, I get some properties under the object over here. You're going to be able to see that I can make some some adjustments. So particularly, I'm going to change the character. So here we go. We've got fonts. I'm using Futura, but if you wanted to make it something like Futura condensed, change it just like that. That's all it is to it. You want to adjust the size, decrease, increase the size. Easy. You can just go ahead and use this slider. Same thing goes for fill and opacity and all that other stuff. Very, very similar to things like Photoshop and Premiere Pro, etc., etc. One of the things that I would like to draw your attention to while I got you, though, is this set here. Where is it? Uh, there we go. The Align Options on the toolbar. If you left-click on that, you're going to see a few things. One, 
it's set to align to stage. So if you want to center your text according to the artboard or the stage, very easy to do. We're just going to click on here, align to horizontal center, left click it, and you'll see that it made a slight adjustment and it is exactly in the middle. If you wanted this to be in the middle, middle, <laughs> and align it vertically, we could do that too. Left click on it, presto, it's now in the middle, horizontally and vertically. And of course, a lot of these other things here are available for you, but just wanted to raise your attention to that. I'm going to move this back up and I'm going to hold down the shift key to constrain it so it goes directly straight up. And honestly, that is about 90% of all you need to know to do text, to write text. If you want to learn how to do tweening so that it uh, fades in and fades out or it moves in and moves out, I'm going to do that in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Got a ton more stuff.